Welcome to the Hank Rise Soccer Center. Matt Morrison along with Darren DuPont for the Saskatoon Ball Hockey League City Finals. Two games tonight. Hungry for Apples is taking on the Bad News Bears and the Swamp Donkeys are taking on Bridge City Massacre. It should be a fun night of ball hockey and uh, Darren, just go over the rules of ball hockey for those who don't know. Yeah, there's gonna, this is going to be the first time for a lot of people, I'm sure, that they're experiencing ball hockey, especially in this city. The things that you want to want to notice different than regular hockey, we're playing two halves, so it'll be a 20-minute straight time half followed by a 20-minute stop time half. The biggest probably change is that floating blue line that you're going to hear a lot about during the broadcast. Uh, you got to clear the blue line just like in regular hockey on side, but once you've entered the zone cleanly, the offensive zone now opens up to half the ice, so the red line then becomes the blue line. So you'll see that floating blue line a lot, and then penalties a little bit. You'll see stick infractions with six minutes up on the clock in straight time and four minutes during stop time, so that'll be a little bit of an adjustment. But other than that, it's hockey without the skates and without the puck. Should be a real fun night. Hungry for apples first. Bad News Bears coming up next. Back here at the Hank Rise Soccer Center, Matt Morrison along with Darren DuPont for the first game of the night. Hungry for Apples who are in the light blue uniforms tonight are taking on the Bad News Bears who are in the dark blue uniforms. Darren, this will be interesting with the two different shades of blue tonight. Huh, yeah, we'll try and keep it straight for you back home, but it should be fun. Let's get it going. Bad News Bears will enter the zone. Hungry for Apples will quickly regain control as now they're going to start on the breakout. Tries to move it up to number seven, Jordan Gall. Gall tries to pass back, but that one got intercepted. So now here comes the Bad News Bears the other way. Nice little chip there from number 19, Owen Wolishin. Wolishin kicks it to himself. An opportunity there. There's a shot. Good stop there by Bronson Linklater, the goaltender for Hungry for Apples. Can't clear the zone, so the ball will stay in possession, stay in the zone for the Bad News Bears. Wolshin working his man. Wolshin is able to get the ball. Tries to fire it ahead to number 69, who we don't have a number for. So bad News Bears will keep the ball in the hungry for Apple zone. Nice little move there. A shot. That one goes high and wide. That's a great scoring opportunity early on. Linklater had to make one stop. This time the puck or the ball just misses on that high corner. Hungry for Apples really having some trouble getting the ball out of their zone early on in this one. As we have played roughly a minute and a half so far in this first half, as that one is going to get chipped down. Is it going to be an icing? It is. So the faceoff will come back in the Hungry for Apples end. Yeah, good start. Managing your bench is going to be important too in the final here because it does take a lot out of you running as opposed to skating. You can't cover as much distance with as much energy. So getting the ball in deep and keeping it in deep is going to be important. You don't want to be going up and down the floor. Mark Neiman will take the draw for Hungry for Apples. Face off is won by the Bad News Bears. Hungry for Apples are able to control it. Kirkland Carruthers is getting worked by a couple of Bad News Bears players. Trying to get that ball out, shoves it up to a teammate, and they are able to get it out. Carruthers gives chase. Here comes Hungry for Apples back the other way. Here's an opportunity, a two on one. Nice pass, but that one got intercepted. Another opportunity in front as that one goes high. Good job by Hungry for Apples to get back and cover. Hungry for Apples trying to get some sort of offense going as it has been all Bad News Bears so far for the first few minutes. Well, a two on one shaped up for the Bears, and it was Tyler Owanchuk had it right on his stick. And Thought it might have been better off to take the shot. Instead, at the last minute, elected to pass it across. It was broken up, but that's a really good scoring chance now. And that's their third quality scoring chance of the opening half. So the faceoff will come in what is the neutral zone. Hungry for Apples are able to control the ball off the faceoff. Good job there by Bad News Bears. Keep it in. As they get that one up, as now that's number 23, Jordan McEwen, giving chase for Hungry for Apples. Tries to put some pressure on as Number 17, Graham Lund is down there working a member of Bad News Bears as well. Ball is in the far corners. There's a couple of players, both sides, working for it. Back to the point. There's a shot from Carruthers. That one goes wide. Good job by Jordan Braun to cut it off on the other end. He leaves it for a teammate. Now a chance in front. Ball got lost amongst some feet, so that one will go into the corner. So now we're starting to see Hungry for Apples get a little bit of pushback. Braun with it, kind of lost the handle, but 
shoves it in deep. McEwen was working for it, but that ball will squirt out as now here comes the Bad News Bears the other way. They can't control it, so Hungry for Apples is gonna take control, but they quickly cough it back up. As now here comes Carruthers. Carruthers over the red line. Carruthers has numbers, as he again lost that one in his feet. Gives it off to a teammate. There's a long shot. And Dentremont will hang on, but really the good first opportunity for Hungry for that. Well, it started with Kirkland Carruthers back in his own zone inside the blue line. He made a great defensive play uh, on Anthony Delacurdy coming in on goal, and he breaks it up, quickly turns the ball the other way, ends up with a chance in on goal, but it was denied by Dentremont. Jordan Gall is on the floor. He's the centerman for Hungry for Apples, and he is definitely a player to watch tonight. He knows how to put the ball in the net. He's got a good combination of speed and skill, and we just saw a big opportunity from him there, but looks like the ball went up into the netting, so we'll have a face-off. Yeah, good start to this one here tonight. I mean, both of these teams trying to fight for a city title, and that's what you want, right? Absolutely. I mean, we've got chances now at both ends, and we're starting to see Hungry for Apple start to push back a little bit. I think the first goal going to be a big one. Face-off is controlled by the Bad News Bears, as now they're going to enter in the offensive zone. Back behind this net is Zanko. Zanko couldn't get that one around the centering pass. That one got blocked by number 88, Christian Kinsey. Good job by him. There's a shot from the point. That one goes behind and took a funny hop as the ball was loose in front. Owen Wolschen had an opportunity. But goes back to that floating blue line, but now here's a breakaway for Jordan Gall. Gall in all alone, Gall can't squeak it through the pads of Dentremont. He's a guy you can't leave wide open. It's now a big opportunity for the Bad News Bears coming the other way. Loose ball in front, there's a shot, that one gets blocked there by number 88, Christian Kinsey. They try to work it back to the point that they do, now there's a shot, that one goes wide. Now number 19, Wolschen will play it down low. Behind the boards, centering pass goes to, there's a big shot there as we have a penalty coming up. It's going to be the first one of the game and it's gonna be a hold. Yeah, holding penalty coming up here. And so we'll see the game's first power play as the Bears putting on some more pressure. But what we've seen is Hungry for Apples, they're really good in transition. They've got breakaway speed and we had the great chance coming in on goal. Jordan Gall had the opportunity, but he was denied on the breakaway and good job in the back check to be able to clear away that loose ball, but a good four check coming up by Bad News Bears, and they've earned a power play as a result. So Dakota Nabzenko will go to the box for a holding penalty, so a power play here for the Bad News Bears. Of course, they are in the dark blue uniforms. 13-15 to go in the first half. Of course, the first half is straight time. Faceoff is controlled by the Bad News Bears. It's they try to get a quick shot away, but that one gets blocked. A couple of sticks whacked for it. There's a quick shot there. Good stop by Linklater. Ball is loose as Hungry for Apples is able to just get it down. Rochel now with it. Mitchell Rochel is going to try to set something up for the Bad News Bears. Tries to carry it through a couple of players, and that one gets dumped down. Bad News Bears are going to have to restart the attack. Nice job so far on the penalty kill. Absolutely. Just holding the line. There's a long shot. Good save made there. Brothers tries to rim that one around the boards, but it gets cut off by a Bad News Bears player. It's now good job by the Brothers to get a stick in the passing lane. It's good defense by Carruthers. That one squirts out to number 12, Riley Struthers, captain of this Hungry for Apples team, and he just flips it deep. Rochel now with it as Hungry for Apples. Changes a couple players. Rochel. We'll move that one up as bouncing ball. Struthers for Hungry for Apples decides to retreat. Now the Bad News Bears are going to try to set something up again. They have that floating blue line set so they can work it all the way back out to the red line on this power play if they want. Just a battle for it. Number eight, Anthony Delicurdy with it. We'll just throw that one behind the net. For others, for Hungry for Apples. And number 92, Tyler Iwanichuk for the Bad News Bears. Gets it back to the point. Down low, now I want to chuck in that corner as that ball will go into the visiting bench, the Bad News Bears bench, as we'll have another faceoff. Yeah, that's going to throw a lot of people off that maybe are just tuning into the show and, and, and to the broadcast. The floating blue line, as you see the ball comes across, as soon as you cross the blue line, you can back up. As soon as you set the blue line, much like in hockey, 
the zone opens up to the full half of the of the uh, of the floor, all the way up to center. So that blue line moves back, and it creates more of an offensive zone, more of an opportunity to promote offense. So. Right now, as you just seen, that floating blue line comes into effect, and it's going to be a little weird to see it first, but it's going to be a big part of this game. Good save there by Bronson Linkletter. It's a real good power play so far for the Bad News Bears. They've generated a lot of opportunities. Yeah, they've moved the ball around well, but what they haven't done is get the ball towards the net. That's the first time Linkletter's touched it here on the penalty kill. They've got to find a way to get that ball through. They're going to work it back to the point. Rochel, a shot goes wide. Now the Bad News Bears are going to try to send something up. Centering pass there for number eight, Anthony Delacurdy, but he couldn't find the handle. As that one again will go into the Bad News Bears bench. We'll have another faceoff. Yeah, real good opportunity for Delacurdy. He was sitting in the slot, but he crept up a little bit too far, and the pass didn't come quick enough, and he wasn't able to get the one-timer in towards the net, but they're starting to try and force it a little bit, and that's a good sign. A little bit of a discussion as to where the faceoff is going to be, but it is going to be inside, and the penalty has to be ending here soon. Unfortunately, we are not uh, graced with the fortune of the countdown on the time clock, so. The penalty's over now. There it is, yes, as you could hear some players screaming even, so Bad News Bears 0 for 1 on the power play. Good penalty kill of that 400 for Atlas. Might even give them a little bit of confidence, Darren, a good penalty kill like that. Well, we'll see. The next couple of shifts will be pretty telling. Nebizanko had the shot on goal. Of course, he was the one that took the penalty. Good shift there for Nebizanko. So 9.30 left to go in the first half. Of course, the first half is straight time. Jordan Gall will take the face off for Hungry for Apples. He controls it as the Bad News Bears will immediately fire down the ice. And That'll be an icing call, so the faceoff's going to come back in the Bad News Bears zone. Yeah, good battle so far in this one. I mean, the Bears get the first power play opportunity. They go unsuccessful, still scoreless, and now an opportunity for, for the Hungry for Apples to try and set up something offensively, and winning this draw will be important. Get possession, get started quickly. So this game has kind of slowed to a bit of a crawl with a whole bunch of whistles here in the first half. Jordan Gall, of course, out on the floor for... Hunger for Apples, definitely their best players. There's a battle for it right off the face off as the Bad News Bears are able to take control. It's a nice little move there in front of him. Good stick from Nepsenko to chip that one away from Bad News Bears player who is in on a partial breakaway. The puck goes down into the corner. It's now Christian Kinsey has lots of time. He put that one right on the stick of a Bad News Bears player, just fired it wide. Nebzanko working a couple of Bad News Bears players as that puck gets thrown out in front, didn't miss by much. Now a battle for it in the close corner. It's a centering pass. Nebzanko got a stick in the way as now it's number 81, Landon Gall. Can't get the ball out, so the Bad News Bears are able to keep control of it. Puck goes out in front. Kinsey had trouble getting that one out. Good pressure again here for the Bad News Bears. There's a shot right on. Good stop by Linklater, and he'll just hang on. When we say the Bears are holding the line, that's the center red line, yes. which becomes the blue line with that floating system. And really, we're seeing how much it opens up the game already and keeps offense alive. But you know, a really good opportunity in all alone. It was an outside-inside move. Their best scoring chance so far, and just unable to find the back of the net. Real good first 12, 13 minutes to this one. Now, the original faceoff man got kicked out, so Winger had to step in and take the faceoff. As now that one gets chipped ahead, but can't get it out. I agree for Apples are going to set up in their own zone. Nice long pass for Riley Struthers, but that one was just a little too far ahead. So now Rochel. Puts that one up ahead, and Brad News Bears will just dump it in. So now Jordan Braun behind the net. Braun. Working with a player for the Bad News Bears. That one gets fired out in front. So now here comes number 19, Mark Neiman for Hungry for Apples. Makes a nice little move. Neiman with some steam heading towards the net. So he turns around to try to evade his man. Still has the ball, Neiman. Trying to work around Rochel behind the net. Good job there by Rochel keeping his eye on Neiman, but 
The good job by Mimi. And then a centering pass. Carruthers comes down. There's a shot. Loose ball in front. As Dentremont will finally be able to find it and hang on, but a good chance there for Hungry for Apples. Well, Mark Neiman makes this play happen. He's got great vision. He's got good poise with the ball. Good job protecting it in back of the net, and then he finds an open guy and really creates that scoring chance. He started that, that sequence all the way on the far side. He brought that ball in on his own. A great heads-up play by number 19, Mark Neiman. A really good shift and one of their better opportunities. So we'll see what kind of confidence Hungry for Apples starts to play with as we've kind of seen them start to even up on the chances in Dolphins' own time. Of course, it was all bad news bears to start this game, but Hungry for Apples with a little bit of pushback. Carruthers made a nice move there, but lost it. Now here comes the bad news bears on the attack again. So that one got poked away. So now here comes Gall. Gall working two on two with Carruthers. Gall makes a nice move around. Rochel, there's a shot. Good pad stop there by Dentremont. So now here comes the bad news bears the other way. That was number 19. Or Wolshin that just hammered it in. Now a nice stretch pass there. Just missed Gall as that one will go down for icing. But a nice little play there. But Struthers just couldn't hit Gall. And if he did, he probably would have been gone. Right now it's the goaltenders, Bronson Linklater, Justin Dentremont, that are stealing the opening half of this game in this, fly, this city final. And the team's trying to open things up a little bit, try and find some room. But it's just not there right now. And again, the further we go along, the bigger that first goal is. Absolutely. Dentremont has played real good, especially in the past couple of minutes. Hasn't really been tested until then, as that one just got hammered wide, as that will go into the netting. And it looks like the face-off is going to stay inside, which means it went off for a Hungry for Apples player. Yeah, this should stay inside. So another opportunity for the Bears to gain possession. And again, you've, got, you've gained the blue line. So your defensemen, they don't have to stay and hold that blue line. They can hold center red line with that floating blue line coming into effect. That zone opening right up. Big face-off win for the Bad News Bears as well. It's hungry for apples. It's just whacking at it to get it out, and they finally do. Is they're going to give chase. Graham Lund gives chase, but Bad News Bears are able to restart on the attack again. Centering pass. That one got broken up by Jordan Gall. That goes back to the point. Grand nice shot. As that one goes high into what is considered the netting or the out of play. Restricted area here at the Hank Rye Soccer Center, which is basically the restaurant windows. But this face off will come outside. But again, a good couple of minutes here for the Bad News Bears. Yeah, you talk about the soccer center. This is a great facility for ball hockey and it's a great facility for sport. We see everything in here. We've even seen, uh, you know, CrossFit competitions yes. and everything. But, you know, where ball hockey lives is the soccer center here. And it's a phenomenal facility, works really well. And uh, we're happy to be here today. Time winding down in this first half. Of course, there's just under three and a half minutes to go now. Sometimes, Darren, you will see teams call timeouts towards the second part of the first half to stop the clock, depending on the situation. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, if teams decide to do that and, and slow things down and maybe try and push for the opening goal. Of course, we mentioned it a few times throughout the first half. That opening goal is so huge. as hungry for apples. Almost got it. A big opportunity there. For hungry for apples, but looks like that one went off the post, and then Dentremont was able to find it and hang on. Well, it was off the stick of Mark Neiman, who's coming off his best shift of the game and comes in with the best scoring chance. A great shot, quick release, and uh, that was tough to handle. He beat the goaltender, couldn't beat the post. Could just be one of those nights here at the Hank Rice Soccer Center. And there's a shot, good stop. Puck, his ball is loose, rather. As Dentremont has been playing real well in the past couple of minutes. Austin McEwen just had another great chance, and he comes close. So McEwen now works it down low. McEwen will go to the front of the net, calling for the ball, but won't get it. They'll work it back to the point. Kinsey goes to the D. Then Zanko, a shot goes off of Dentremont, so the faceoff will stay inside. Quick reflexes, Justin Dentremont. He's got a quick left pad and makes a big stop. He's a big goaltender in the net, which takes up a lot of space, but he's had to be pretty quick. As now you're seeing Hungry for Apples in the final two minutes really start to put it on. Now this might be an opportunity where they've got momentum, they're feeling good. They might use a timeout to, to let this period or this, you know, this half continue on. Absolutely. It's, it's been all Hungry for Apples here in the past few minutes. There's a centering pass as that one got shot by Landon Gull, but that one got blocked and went into the corner. They'll work the ball back to the point. Nebzanko is going to tee one up. There's a shot. Good stop. Rebound. As McEwen had another opportunity in front, but 
and you convert. Nevzanko now. Nevzanko decides to carry it in, but he lost the ball. As now the Bad News Bears have an opportunity to get it out, and they will. Here comes the Bad News Bears now with 1.15 left to go in this first half. You can hear the ref yelling, set, set, so that means the floating blue line will come into effect. And Hungry for Apples is able to quickly take control of the ball as they'll get it down the other way. Now McEwen, Austin McEwen now. Go into the corner boards. Looking for a mass centering pass there for Gall. Big stop there by Entremont. Struthers gets it down low for Gall. Gall now looking for a play. Jordan Gall will go back to the point. Nevzenko, there's another shot. Good stop by Entremont. He'll find it and hang on. Another big stop, and now you want to talk about line changes. If you're the if you're the Bears right now, you want to linger a little bit. Let this yes. let this half just expire Absolutely. with 35 yep. seconds now. Face off in your end. You're not in any rush to get to no. the, get to the dot and get this thing going. Be interesting to see if there's another quick whistle. There's a shot as that one goes wide. If there's another quick whistle, if hungry for apples, we'll call a timeout. As there's a loose ball in front, and yes, they will call a timeout as Dentremont covers it. So 15.9 seconds left. Hungry for apples. We'll call a timeout to stop the clock. Well, in that last draw, you can just see why they call the timeout. They get a quick face-off win. Great chance on the shot right on goal. Try and see if they can't draw that up again here and get another quick opportunity with just under 16 seconds to play. If they have the right guys on the floor, Hungry for Apples does. This is definitely their, their line that can put up all the points as we see Jordan Gall sitting right behind the centerman for that one timer. If they could win it, but they can't. Bad News Bears just want to get the ball out. Of course, Hungry for Apples has already burned their time out, so they get it ahead to number 19, Wilson. Ball in amongst a couple of players' feet as one second left on the clock as that will bring an end to the first half of the men's division game between Hungry for Apples and Bad News Bears. 0-0 second half action coming up next. Back for second half action at the Hank Rise Soccer Center between Hungry for Apples and the Bad News Bears is a 0-0 first half as now the second half will turn into stop time as the Bad News Bears who controlled a lot of that first half go to the attack nice and quick again. Walshin is down low in the corner. Gets it back to Rochel. Gets it D to D. There's a shot. As that one gets stopped in front as Linklater made a good stop there as a quick whistle here. Less than 30 seconds into the second half. That's yeah, a good start. If we get to stop time and maybe a little more opportunity to find some scoring in this one. It's been the two goaltenders that have been both unbelievable. On Don Schumann's probably been made a three or four really big stops, and at the other end, Link later, both at the top of their game. Absolutely. The Bad News Bears controlled a lot of the play in that first half, but I would go as far to say the Hungry for Apples actually had the better opportunities, scoring opportunities in that first half. Yeah, they've had some good scoring chances, uh, no doubt. Again, the goaltenders have been strong, but it's going to take maybe a bounce and, or some sort of, they say puck luck in hockey. Yeah. They're going to need a little bit of that, I think, before yes. we find a, a, the opening goal. It's going to take something weird, and that's what you can get in ball hockey. That's a, a, another wrinkle. Yes. Is that this ball can bounce, and you mentioned that with the you know, the, the bigger zone, shots from back outside the blue line, which is the red line, can sometimes fool goaltenders if you can get them moving around. Well, and absolutely, a ball can take a funny hop. You just never know. It's, they say to just put as much as you can on net in ball hockey because you never know about the way the ball bounces around. It's a face off clean win there for the Hungry for Apples team. It's Carruthers, good job there. Carruthers to keep it in. It's, now they're going to set up there's a shot from the corner. Good stop. Ball is loose in front. It's, the Bad News Bears are able to get control of the ball and let's see if they can get it out. And it looks like they will. So now they go right to the attack. It was Michael Rochel with a great opportunity, or a great job defensively for the Bears. So now the Bad News Bears try to go to the attack, but Struthers is able to dump that one down. Rochel is getting worked by Gall. So now here comes Gold Gall to the net. Good save me there. We have a penalty coming up, and it looks like it's going to be to be Bad News Bears, it's going to be a slash, and it's going to be Michael Rochel, and it's going to the box for the Bad News Bears, so a big opportunity here for Hungry for Apples. Yeah, coming off the great defensive play, Rochel, but this time uh, Jordan Gall coming in, and Gall has been 
he's been good for Hungry for Apples. Three goals, six points so far in the playoffs coming now into the end of the championship. But this is a four minute power play. Their first of the game. We'll see if they can capitalize. A big opportunity here for Hungry for Apples as they're going to set it up as they're working it. Did it be? There's a one time a good pad stop there. Great placement on the shot. By Detremont. Gets it back to the point again. Now gets it down low. McEwen with it. McEwen in the corner. Nobody's going to bother to pressure him, so he's just going to put it on goal as the ball actually bounces back to the point. There's a long shot as that one goes high into the out of bounds area at the Hank Rides Soccer Center, so the faceoff's going to come outside. Yeah, and that's just getting a little bit impatient for Dakota Nebazenko back uh, out near the line, letting that shot go. No traffic in front. You see the opportunity before Mark Neiman doing a really good job getting positioning in front of the slot, trying to find a deflection, make life difficult for the uh, goaltender uh, Dontremont, but wasn't able to get a good stick on it and try and find the back of the net. But a good start to this power play. I was just going to say that it's been a real good start. This Nebuzanko is going to carry it himself down low as that ball actually went off a body, so it didn't get all the way out. So good job there by Hungry for Apples to keep it in. I'll try to work that one down low, but can't. It's now here comes a break for the Bad News Bear, shorthanded the other way. Good stop there by Lake later. As now Graham Lund will slow things down and try to set it up for Hungry for Apples as that pass doesn't hit anybody, so that'll go all the way down for an icing call. Yeah, tough pass. They had a long stretch opportunity, but just out of the reach. And now the power play, which started so well, is now starting to find a little bit of a hiccup here uh, early on. And it is that four minute power play. So still lots of time left on it, but they're going to have to find a way to get, in, get it back into the offensive zone and get something going in a hurry. Faceoff is controlled by Hungry for Apples in their own zone. So they will try to get that one up, and they do. But Bad News Bears are able to Come back the other way. Hungry for Apples is going to take control of it. That pass went off of a Bad News Bears player. Stick still got there. Is now here comes a nice pass there. And that one goes wild. As that was Graham Lund who had a glorious chance in front. Ball will go back to the blue line. As Nebuzenko with it. Nebuzenko down low for number 19. Mark Neiman takes a shot. As that one actually handcuffed Ventremont a little bit. Now Lund, Lund tries the centering pass. Good job by Neiman to break that one off in the slot, but the Bad News Bears are able to get the ball and they're able to get it down. Dakota Nebuzanko now will start out for Hungry for Apples. He'll put that one off the wall. Here at McEwen now, McEwen. Working his man, tries a centering pass up front. That's not walks that one away. McEwen still working, good job by Scott Baran, the defenseman for the Bad News Bears, if they get it to a place where Dentremont will just cover up. Yeah, Scott Baran, the defenseman, I believe he's a stock car driver out at the uh, auto clearing where the um, Wyant Group yes. Raceway now. So getting a chance to see him in a different uh, different sport. I know we've seen him on the track quite a bit over the years. Face off one by Gall, back to Nebuzenko. Nebuzenko will get it down low to Landon Gall. Now Landon Gall, back to Nebuzenko, Nebuzenko, back down to Landon Gall. Now Landon Gall, we'll get it back to the point. It's Carruthers. Carruthers is going to tee one up. That one got fired wide. Good job by Gall to keep it in. Now Jordan Gall with it. Gall across. There's a one time a good stop there by Detremont as that was Riley Struthers who had a glorious chance in front. Carruthers now with it. Carruthers down for Gall. Gall now with it. Gall is going to work his way in. Decided he wanted to not shoot. Tries a centering pass, but that one gets broken up. Carruthers does a good job to keep the ball in. Gets it down low for Struthers. That one goes into the corner. Brand and Struthers tie each other up as Bad News Bears player comes in and that ball actually goes under the tarp. So we'll have a whistle, but a great job here for Hungry for Apples on this power play. Couple Land big opportunities. Landon Gall's got the best opportunities walking in, but what Don Tremont does really well is he's such a big body. He comes out, cuts down the angle, and it's just not there. You think you've got an opportunity to shoot. He decides, no, there's there's nothing. Goes in behind the net. Can't get the centering pass back out front. That's a great job by the goaltender to eliminate the opportunity. Gall gets it in front to Jordan Gall, and a good stop there by Detremont. Ball is loose. Jordan Gall goes and gets it. Struthers gives it to Gall. Gall back for Carruthers. Carruthers for Jordan Gall now. Jordan Gall is going to walk in. There's a shot, fires it high and wide, as that one will go 
into the netting and we'll have another face off. Bears on their heels now here in the second half and you know we're not five minutes in and there's been three or four really good opportunities another couple opportunities on this last sequence and Don Tremont's got to come up with another big stop and to keep this game scoreless. The four minute power play can't end soon enough for <laughs> four minute penalty can't end soon enough I guess I should say for Michael Rochel who of course has to watch his team's PK go to work. As the power play is going to work for Hungry for Apples. There's a big chance there for golf, but a good stop by Detrobot. Well, there's a great chance. There's an opportunity here for Gall to find the opening goal. There's room. Dontremont, though, gets back across to his right, gets the paddle down, and finally finds a way to cover up right on the line. That's another great chance. They continue to put pressure on. They often say your goalie has to be your best penalty killer, and Dontremont definitely has been. There's a shot. Good save there by Dontremont. It's now the bad news bears are able to get it out, but they can't get it all the way down. Struthers with a nearest bench. Struthers just hammers that one in. Struthers will pick up the loose ball. Struthers tries to make a move around a defenseman, but can't. So now the Bad News Bears will just dump it down. Penalty is ending, so we're now back to five on five. So Hungry for Apples is now 0 for 1 on the power play, but they had a lot of good chances as Linklater will just hang on to the ball for a faceoff. Well, the Bears got to get some pressure off of their goaltender now and play a lot in the other end. And they're gonna get an opportunity with an offensive zone face-off, see if they can't keep control back down there, more back what we saw in the opening half, and see if they can't try and swing the pendulum of momentum back in their favor. Face-off in the Hungry for Apple zone, so if you can control that face-off, you're already off to a good start, but there's a loose ball in front, goes into the corner. It's Braun, just fire that one down low. Wolishin and Carruthers. Battle for it. As that ball will squirt out to the face-off circle and goes down. Icing is waved off. Rochel now. Lots of time to set something up. As he looks for a pass, that one got intercepted by Struthers. Rochel will get it back and he'll try it again. Struthers got a stick in the middle of that one. As Struthers tries to make a move around a bad news Bears player, but can't just now. Here comes the Bears on the attack. That ball will go into the corner. As it looks like Hungry for Apples is going to try to set something up. It's going to be Jordan Braun. With it. Braun will just go D and B off the wall. So now here comes Hungry for Apples. A nice little move. There's a shot. Good stop by Detremont as he hangs on. But a good opportunity there for Hungry for Apples off the rush. Yeah, Kirkland Carruthers gets the shot. And you know, we've seen him a couple of times try and really wind it up. He lets it go, but you know, just coming in in transition, nice job finding the high seam and letting the shot go. But Don Tremont's there again with another big save. 13.28 left to go in the second half. Of course, the second half is straight time. As Nebuzanko will throw that one off the wall, but that one got intercepted by the Bad News Bears. And they come the other way, and they have members with them as well. As they are going to call offside as they didn't get the zone cleared in time, so the faceoff will come in the neutral zone. I know it's a little bit early still with 13 minutes to play, but if we do see overtime, we'll get that 10 minutes of three on three. That should open things up considerably, and if that doesn't happen, we'll get a shootout. But at this rate, I don't think even that will find a way to, to break these goaltenders who are playing so well. The 10 minute three on three overtime uh, ends games pretty quick. We don't often see shootouts in the ball hockey playoffs. As Bad News Bears are on the attack again. It's Deli Curdy. Looks for a centering pass, nothing there. Nebuzanko was working with Man Deli Curdy, kind of just kicked it out in front, but Hungry for Apples is able to get control of the ball, and they come the other way, and it's Jordan Gall now. Gall, with a little bit of speed, goes around a defender. Good stop by Dontremont. Gall gets the rebound, gets it back to the point. Nebuzanko's going to tee one up, because that one goes wide. Now Kinsey, back to the point. Now Nebuzanko with it. Nebuzanko loves to shoot. He's got that big heavy shot as well. So he'll just play it off the wall from Gordon Gall. Gall now with it. Gall walks in, shot stopped by Detrimont. He doesn't know where it was as it was caught between his side of his body and his blocker and he hangs on. Well, Jordan Gall getting this ball off the wall and he sees room in the middle to try and bring this ball into the slot, get Detrimont moving to his left and bring it back to the right, but Detrimont didn't bite. He waited, Gall had to make the first move and tried to go up under the arm, just wasn't there. Jordan Gall in the face-off circle for Hungry for Apples. Gall will have it now down low. 
Jordan Gall with it tries to get it out in front, but Moran will take control of it for the Fabulous Bears as they try to get that ball out, but can't. Another opportunity to get it out, and they finally do. As now here comes the Bad News Bears on the attack. A centering pass as that one went just wide. Link Laders out of position as well as that was a big opportunity for the Bad News Bears. As now here comes the Hungry for Apples the other way. One with it. Couldn't poke that one away from a defender. Jordan Gall will pick it up. As now here comes Jordan Gall with it. Makes a move around a couple of defenders and a good stop there by Dontremont. Now here comes the Bad News Bears the other way. That one doesn't last long. It gets thrown into the Bad News Bears zone. And Hungry for Apples goes off on a change, but another good opportunity, Darren, for this Jordan Gall line. Yeah, they've been pretty strong, and you can see the Apples. They're really two lines deep, two really good units, and uh, they're continuing to put on the pressure. So now they come on the attack again. A centering pass was too hot for Nina to handle. Rochel tries to get that one up. That one was too far. So Braun, a defenseman for Hungry for Apples, will take it. Tries to get it up. Gets the ball knocked off his stick. He just gets it deep down. As now Rochel with it for the Bad News Bears. Has a little bit of time. As that pass goes off a Neiman stick. Neiman a centering pass. Nice little move there. So now here comes the Bad News Bears the other way. It's number 92, Taylor Iwanchuk. Lost the handle. It's now the Hungry for Apples will just get it back in. It's Carruthers, a defenseman. We've seen him jump up in the play a couple of times so far tonight as he'll control the ball along the wall. Gets it back to the point for Braun. There's a the shot. That one gets blocked in front. Wanchuk tries to get the ball out for the Bad News Bears, dishes it off to a teammate. Now here comes the Bad News Bears the other way. As Linkletter had a little bit of trouble handling that. Loose ball, so he'll just glove it and hang on. Yeah, smart play. I like the transition from the Bears as they come through the neutral zone and you know really distributing the ball well, making good, smart, clean passes. And then as the ball comes in on Link later, yeah, I don't think he knew where it was no. right at the beginning, but he made the smart play and was able to cover up. 11:09 left to go here in the second half. Face off will be in the hungry for apples end. As hungry for apples takes control of that face off, just gets it out. It's now a break. Yes. Petromont can stop there. Moran now with it. Moran with it. Good job for Moran. Hard work by Hunger for Apples as well. So Moran found on that clearing attempt by Wanchuk will come in and take control of it. Wanchuk is going to fire that one cross court. Zebzenko now with it. Hunger for Apples has to reset the line and they do. So now Zebzenko leaves it for Nina. Nice little move by Mark Neiman. Let's, we'll get it back to Nebzanko. Nebzanko off the wall for Neiman now. Neiman, Neiman, a centering pass. There's a shot. As that one goes wide, Dentremont may have got a piece of it. That's now Struthers with it. Struthers tries a centering pass for Neiman, but can't. As now here comes the Bad News Bears the other way. Good job by Carruthers to break that one up, but Carruthers is going to get it back. As that one will go down into the Hungry for Apple zone. As to try to set something up. Good job by the Bad News Bears to pick up the loose ball. There's a shot, that one goes wide. May have been hit with a stick. As now Neiman is going to try to set something up for Hungry for Apples. Off the boards for Carruthers. Carruthers, nice little chip to himself. It's a 2 on one Carruthers, a shot yeah. save made there. Rebound, loose ball in front. There's a shot as that one gets blocked. Goes back to the point. Gall now with it. Gall tried to tee one up, but I want to try to took that one off his stick. So they get it down low. Jordan McEwen now. McEwen tries a centering pass. I want Chuck for the Bad News Bears. Tries to get it out, but can't. Now it's in the feet of Rochel. As Rochel plays that one off the boards for I want Chuck. And I want Chuck to just hammer it down and he'll go get it. But another big opportunity for Hungry for Apples. I want Chuck now in the corner. Gets tied up by Carruthers. Nice job by Carruthers to poke it past the Bad News Bears players. Now here comes Carruthers the other way. Hitting one on two. Just Throws it on net. Ball goes into the corner. Jordan Gall. Good job by Gall to knock it down. As he collides with a player from the Bad News Bears, and Dentremont will find it and hang on. Gall coming off the wall, wins the battle, gets the shot in. But let's go back to the two on one. The great chance uh, by the, the Apples coming in at a two on one, but it's Michael Rochel again on the second opportunity. Gets his stick right in the ball. Uh, gets his stick right in the ball and 
really negates a, a quality scoring chance on that second opportunity that could have found been the game's opening goal. Heads up play. Marshall now with it behind the net for the Bad News Bears. Tries to get that one ahead. That one got intercepted by a hungry for apples player. Didn't have it for very long. It's now the Bears go to the attack again. As that one just gets thrown in front and Linkletter will just glove that one and hang on. Well now to eight and a half minutes remaining and you start to wonder is the next goal all we're going to get. Is that going to be enough to to be a winner. Teams are going to have to find a way to press and what is it going to take now. It might be a lucky bounce. You're going to have to find a way to get some traffic in front of these two goaltenders because when they see it they're stopping everything. There's a shot right on. Good save there by Linkletter. It's Nebzenko now makes a nice move around. One player to get that one out and does is now Jordan Gall in on alone. Jordan Gall now. Nice move. Scores. Jordan Gall. And there's the first goal of the hockey game as it goes to Hungry for Apples on a great individual effort from Jordan Gall. Oh, that's a great effort as the ball was sent down the floor and you know, he just had to win a battle. He had a defender draped all over him as he walked in and he went forehand, backhand, and he found some room behind Don Tremont. And that's a great finish. And you know the crowd likes it, and we finally have some offense in this game. Absolutely, as yes. Michael Rochel was did a good job of getting back as well as we saw him kind of get his stick on goal stick, but it was a good job by Gall to fend off Rochel and make a nice move and beat Justin Detremont, who has been so good tonight for the Bad News Bears. But the first goal of the game goes to Hungry for Apples. As now they're on the attack again. This time it's the other goal centering pass. That one got intercepted us now here comes the bad news bears with it the other way a lot of speed to their shift as Neiman gets that one up ahead Neiman receives the give and go pass back as now here comes Neiman tries to fire but fan on it will keep control of the ball gets it to the point nice play down low now the other goal takes a shot as that one will go off the out of play yeah that went out of play we're gonna they don't like it. They're talk. They're talking about it, but it went up and touched the top netting. Another good opportunity. A two-on-one chance from the Apples, electing to pass instead of shoot. But what you're seeing now, teams were tight a little bit before. You know, scoreless game, championship. The next goal really huge. Now you're seeing things start to ramp up yes. a little bit. We're seeing a little bit more intensity. We're seeing a little bit more hustle on the floor, up and down, and both teams pressing for the next one because it's a huge goal. Especially the Bad News Bears as soon as they got scored on us. There's a chance for Struthers scores! Riley Struthers, and just like that, it's a 2 nothing Hungry for Apples lead. Well, once you break the dam, it seems like the, you know, the floodgates are open a little bit, but they got back-to-back -back goals. A nice heads-up play by Mark Neiman. A great pass to find Struthers, and he beats Dontremont just inside the post. A nicely placed shot. Struthers has had a few very good chances so far tonight, so good for... Struthers to finally bury one. It's now hungry for apples. are able to control it right off the draw. But now Struthers gets it back. It's now here comes Neiman with it the other way. Neiman, a nice pass for Landon Gall. There's a shot. Save made there as Struthers couldn't handle the rebound. So now the Bad News Bears are going to try to slow things down a bit. Nice long feed. As now here comes Gall with it the other way. He'll just throw it off the boards. As they're actually going to call that one an icing. I do believe so the faceoff is going to come back in the hungry for apple zone. 7.06 to go. The Bears got to start pressing and they got to start pressing in a hurry here. So we're going to see a lot of shots towards the goal. You're going to see a lot of traffic in front. You're going to have to start uh, doing what you can and you're going to start taking some chances. So you're going to see defensemen up in on the rush as well, uh, which could lead to some good scoring chances for hungry for apples. We'll see what kind of pushback the bad news Bears give us. You got to think they're really going to start being aggressive down by two with seven minutes left. Wolshin gets it down low. Nebzanko cuts that one off for Hungry for Apples. As they try to get that ball out, but a good job by Rochel to keep that one in. Ball in the corner. Oh, a nice little move there. So there's a shot good stop by Linklater as he can't find the rebound. Goes into the corner. And Wanchuk now tries to throw that one out in front, but that one got intercepted by Hungry for Apples players. Rochel's back with it for the Bad News Bears. That pass got picked off by Gall, and now here comes Jordan Gall on the attack again. A nice pass. There's a loose ball in front. As that one will go all the way out just now. And Wanchuk comes back the other way for the Bad News Bears. There's a shot, that one goes wide. Bad News Bears really with an extra jump in their step in the last couple of minutes. And they definitely need it down by two. Just over six minutes to go. 
little bit of confusion as players thought there was going to be an icing call and there wasn't, so play will keep going on. Graham Lund tries to get it down low for Gall. Gall is tied up with Landon Young. Good job by Landon Young as well. Well, here in the Hank Rice Soccer Center, you've got four different floors and two right back to back uh, with just a little bit of room in between. I think they heard a whistle from yes. another floor and players stopped and sometimes that can throw you off a little bit. Whistles all over the place of the Pancreas Soccer Center. It's another good pad stop by Dontremont. It's now Landon Young will take it the other way. Here comes Landon Young now with it. Young tries to drop pass but that one got intercepted. Good job by the Badgers Bears to keep it in. It's now it's Wolshin. Owen Walshin. A centering pass, there's a shot, they score! The Bad News Bears were able to get one back with 5.22 to go. That's a good shot by who was considered number 34 on the back of his jersey. He's wearing a Leafs shirt, so it's Matthews. We don't have a name for him, but he shoots way, like <laughs> us and Matthews. What a release, says a quick one timer. I was on the stick, off the stick, and that's the best place. Nice and low, you know, about eight, ten inches up off the floor and right over top of the pad inside the post. Like I said, with just over five minutes left to go, we'll see what kind of attack the Bad News Bears can give us. They come on the attack again. Of course, we saw them at the start of this game. It was all Bad News Bears, as it looks like we have a penalty coming up. Looks like it's a trip. Well, it's going to end up with the Bears, I believe, being on the be power hook, play, a hooking call. And so we got a power play, five minutes left. You're down one, and what an opportunity as things align to really start to bring up the intensity and add to the drama here in the final, final five. Just to finish my thought before that penalty, of course, we saw the Bad News Bears control a lot of the play in the first part of the first half of this game, so we'll see if they can get back to that. And if they do, then They'll give themselves a lot of opportunities. Brand now with a just gonna tee one up as that one goes high and wide. And then Zanko tries to fire that one down as they are gonna say that one got hit with a high stick, so it's going to be number 16, Tyler Rowichuk. Hit that one with a high stick, and of course we talked about this in the opening as well. High stick well, is a penalty. Well, yeah, this is something that we didn't actually get to mention this in the opening, but that is something new. Uh, you know, you touch a player with a high stick, that's a penalty. We know that in hockey, but when you touch the ball, you knock it down. It's not just a whistle and a face-off that comes outside the zone. It's a high sticking penalty as well, and that's a crucial penalty for the Bears Absolutely. at this stage of the game. When you're down one, 441 to play, and you got a power play trying to find the equalizer, you can't take that penalty, and that's just a bit of a brain cramp. You just can't make that decision. Absolutely. Now, that was probably one that could have gone either way, though, as well. It didn't look like uh, the stick was super, super high, but it is going to be four on four, so a big opportunity taken away by that high stick penalties. We have some four on four action, and this is where the Hungry for Apples strive as well in this four on four situation because they have a lot of speed, so it's going to be interesting to see how they play this four on four, and eventually they'll get a power play out of this when it's all said and done as well. Bad News Bears have to stay on the attack here with just four minutes, just over four minutes to go. Ball is in that far corner as they try to work it out. As that one goes off of the feet of Nevzenko to the point, there's a shot, they score! Looks like it may have been hit with a stick in front. As the original shot came from the point, and either way, we have a 2-2 hockey game. Well, that's a bit of a seeing eye shot from the line, and yes. it just found a way into that far corner and up over top of the arm. A great job by the Bears just to stay with it. That was their opportunity when things were four on four. Because yes. uh, you're going to be shorthanded coming up here shortly. But you know, we got things tied again, and now we're starting to talk about, well, are we going overtime? But the way the teams have ramped up the offense, I don't think the scoring's finished yet. Absolutely it's not, as it's going to be interesting to see what kind of pushback Hungry for Apples gives here. Of course, we saw them up 2-0, and now all of a sudden it's a 2-2 hockey game. 3.45 to go. Bad News Bears on the attack again. Centering pass gets picked off by Hungry for Apples players. Now here they come the other way. That was Landon Gall that got the ball taken off his stick as that shot, good save made there by Linkletter. It's going to be interesting to see if we see people just start to shoot from everywhere because you never know what can happen. Bears have confidence right now. Now Gall with it. Landon Gall with it. 
And that one will go to Dentremont and he'll just cover up. Yeah, not taking any chances at this juncture of the hockey game. Championship on the line, tie game, final 319. Don't want to take any chances. You don't want to make a mistake that could lead to the game winning goal. More great ball hockey for you coming up after this one as well, but we still have a lot to take care of with 319. As the faceoff wasn't done fairly, so we'll do that again. Neiman out to take the draw for the Hungry for Apples. Wins it back, but that one hopped over the stick of Kirkland Carruthers, and it goes all the way back in his own zone. So now they're going to have to restart the attack. Jordan Braun with it. Gets that one up ahead to Neiman. Neiman chips that one past Grant. Now Neiman with it. Neiman back to Braun. There's a shot as that one got fired just wide. As it looks like it's now a five on four power play for Hungry for Apple. So we'll see what kind of opportunities they can draw up on their second power play of the night. Dahl gets it back to the point as that quick power play is now over. Oh, there's a shot by Braun. That one hit a stick in front, but good job by Dontremont. Austin McEwen now, back to Braun. Braun tries to get that one across to Carruthers. Good job by Wanchuk to get a stick in there. It's now Anthony Delacurdy with it. Up ahead for Taylor Iwanchuk. Here comes Iwanchuk. Taylor Iwanchuk now with it. Nice little draw pass for number 22, Landon Young, and he'll throw that into the corner. So back to five on five action. Ball is now in the far corners. Now here comes the Hungry for Apples on the attack. It's McEwen now. McEwen is gonna Wait up, waits for some teammates to get set up as that pass got taken away by Iwanchuk. It's now Iwanchuk with Taylor Iwanchuk tries that centering pass as that one will go back into the bad news area zone as they're going to try to set something up on the attack with 145 left to go in the second half and a 2-2 hockey game between the bad news Bears and Hungry for Apples. Now here comes the Hungry for Apples again on the attack as Pemzanko tries to carry that one up. He has to now get back as the Bad News Bears are on the attack. There's a shot as that one goes wide. Linkletter had to whack at it as that one took a funny hop. As good pressure here from the Bad News Bears. We have a penalty coming up as it's going to be against Hungry for Apples. It's going to be a holding call. So a big opportunity here with 1.13 left to go. Yeah, this is a big opportunity and, you know, they get another opportunity with the power play and we've seen them, you know, capitalize four on four in, in the last situation to be able to tie this game with 1.13 to go. It's a tough penalty to take and now the Bears I believe going to take their time out and an opportunity talk things over, see if you can't find the game winner here in the final 73 seconds. Absolutely, yes, that's Riley Struthers that's in the box for Hungry for Apples, getting an explanation from the ref because he doesn't like the call, and Struthers has played a very good game tonight. He is even on the score sheet with the goal. He had the second goal for Hungry for Apples, and that's a tough penalty to take with 113 left to go as both teams will come up with their strategies for the next minute 13. Well, Bronson Linklater, it's the second time he's struggled with a little bit of a bouncing ball that's kind of gave him trouble. So if I'm the Bears, you got to throw everything at him. You got to start throwing balls through. You got to start throwing wrist shots through that maybe are going to bounce in front of him. See if he can't get traffic in front, put sticks on and redirect something and make life difficult for the young goaltender. And again, that's how the Bad News Bears kind of scored their second goal on a shot from a point, hit a couple of sticks in front, and then it got behind Linklater. So we'll see what kind of power play they have. Of course, their second power play got taken away after a high sticking call against them. So that'll be the other key too. We'll have to see them be a little bit aggressive as we are now into the final minute. But of course, you don't want to take a penalty to take away that advantage from your team. Ball is now down low as there's a centering pass. There's a shot as that one goes off the side of the net. Just now they're going to set up back to the point. Rochel now with it. Rochel just throws it on front. Good pad save by Linkletter and a good job by Novozanko to just clear that one down with 35 seconds left. Nice decision by Rochel to throw that shot through. It was a bit of a seeing eye shot, but a nice right pad save by Linkletter. Rochel now tries to get that one up ahead for the second goal scorer for the Bad News Bears. Is Walshin now with a Walshin shot. Good kick save by Linkletter and with 16 seconds left to go, he'll just hang on. 
Yeah, Christian Kinsey deciding to just, okay, seek this ball, put it right back to the goaltender, let Link later cover up and get a chance to settle things down with 16 seconds left. Big face off, you've got your face off, man in goal, <coughs> ready to take the draw. The guys you want are on the floor. Good big face off win by Hungry for Apples, but they aren't able to control it as there's a loose ball in front. The ball is still loose. Down to the last five seconds, and a good job there by Nebesanko. It's now Gall, and a player for the Bad News Bears gets tied up as Nebesanko is just going to take a shot. As that brings to an end regulation time, up next, three on three overtime between Hungry for Apples and the Bad News Bears in the men's division final. Back at the Hank Rise Soccer Center, Matt Morrison along with Darren DuPont as the first game of the night has gone to overtime. Hungry for apples and Bad News Bears. Now it is a 10 minute overtime, it's three on three, but for right now it's four on three as the Bad News Bears do have a power play opportunity. Yeah, it'll stay four on four once the penalty expires until we get a stoppage and can go back to three on three. So there'll be a little more room on the floor eventually once we get to four on three, but or three on three, but here's an opportunity to end this thing with a little bit of power play time still remaining. Lots of room out there as we see Rochelle just throw the ball down low. As now the Bad News Bears are going to try to set up the attack. Like I said, lots of room out on a four on three or even a three on three action. That's a good job by the Bad News Bears. Just chips it to himself as that ball stays in. There's a shot. That one got fired wide. As they try to work it back to the point, that one will go into the netting as we'll have a face off in the offensive zone. Yeah, a nice shot from the line, and again, trying to throw everything they can at Linklater. After, you know, going down two nothing in this game in the third period and battling back, you got to give the Bears credit for being resilient here tonight. Absolutely. So face off to the left of Linklater. Ball goes back to the point. Rochel now shot that one gets blocked. Good job by Rochel to make sure that he keeps the ball in the zone. As now we're even, so now we're back to four on four until the. First whistle, then we'll go down to three on three. Good kill for Hungry for Apples as well. As Nebesenko will take control of it behind the nets as we'll see how hard the Hungry for Apples push the pace. That's a nice little pass there. As Gall will go and get it as they're going to call that one icing. So there is a whistle and the faceoff will come back in the Hungry for Apples zone, but it looks like we should go back to three on three. Yeah, we'll go to three on three now, I'm sure. Yes, that's and what it looks like. Then we'll get to see a little more open open room out on the floor, and, and this might create some offense. Now you got to be careful of positioning; it becomes important. You don't want to put yourself out of position with that much extra room. Absolutely, three on three, lots of room. As the face off goes into the corner, good battle down that wall. Here's a shot. Is that one actually got deflected right at the last moment and deflected just wide? Bad news Bears are going to. Continue on the offensive attack. Ball will go behind the net. Because that's Iwanchuk. Iwanchuk gets it back to the point. That one just gets fired back down low. So Iwanchuk will go and get it behind the net. He's being watched by Nebesanko. So now Nebesanko is going to fire that one as he tried to hit Gall, who was breaking for the Bad News Bears home. But that one will go into the bench. Tyler Iwanchuk with another strong shift. I like this play as this game is drawn on. He's poised and you know, he's able to keep, you know, have control for the Bears down the offensive zone on that shift. That's a great start to this kind of three on three segment with 8.18 to play. Face off is won by the Bad News Bears as they'll take control. Ball in the corner. Good job there by Struthers watching his man closely as the ball will go out to the far side. There's a centering pass, but that one got poked away as now here comes Gall with it. Gall now tries to make a move around Rochelle as the ball will go into the corner. Walsh and Gall with it. Walsh with it. Tries to get that one ahead as that one will go down for icing as we'll have a faceoff come in the Bad News Bears zone now with 7.45 left to go in this overtime period. Well, I think Hungry for Apples likes the group they have out right now. Uh, you got Jordan Gall and Mark Neiman, two of probably their top players, if not their two top players, on the floor right now with a lot of open space. They're going to try and end it here really quick. Absolutely. Why wait? Why wait? Get it over and done with as soon as he can. So, face off to the right of Dent Vermont. Gall and his man get 
tied up right off the draw along these close corner boards. Now Gall is going to give it to Neiman. Neiman now is going to shoot. Big save made there by Dentremont. Gall is crashing hard for the rebound as icing is going to get waved off as it doesn't get all the way down there. Wrong with it. As we see a quick change here for Hungry for Apples as well as McEwen tries to poke that one past his man but can't. As now the Bad News Bears on the attack. As there's a shot, that one will go up high. Stays in play, however, is now Neiman with it on the boards. As that one will get thrown down for icing, so we'll have a face off. Finley Hungry for Apples home. Yeah, good opportunity again, but couldn't connect on the pass. Another icing call and Team starting to settle in a little bit to this three on three. Absolutely, with 7.08 left to go in the three on three overtime. Face off will be to the left of Linklater. We've really only seen one or two quality grade A scoring chances so far in this overtime, Darren, which is a little bit su surprising considering there is a lot of room out there with the three on three. But with everything on the line, a championship here, uh, you don't want to take too many chances, make a mistake, but we're going to see teams start to push a little bit now in the final as this overtime period draws further along. Neiman will give it back to Carruthers at the point. He's being watched by Iwanchuk. Carruthers now lets one go. That one hit a stick in front and then a weak rebound. Doesn't go anywhere. So now Iwanchuk with it. Kind of lost it, but he's able to get it back. Gets it up ahead for his teammate, as there's a shot, good stop there by Linklater, and he'll hang on. Typically in ice hockey, you see three on three and four on four when you got the open space. It's all about puck possession. Here, a little bit less about ball possession. We don't see a lot of patience in terms of moving the ball around. We see a lot, a little bit more, okay, let's try and get this to the front of the net. Let's try and force a shot here. I think it would do the teams well if they would move it around a little bit, hang on to the ball, and then pick your spot. There is something to be said for that. In front, they score! Game winner, Owen Woolishin, and the Bad News Bears have won the Saskatoon Ball Hockey League Men's Division Championship in overtime. What a game that was. What a finish, and what a battle by the Bears. A uh, real poised group. Down 2 nothing in the third. They find a way to battle back. They force overtime, had chances in the power play. Hungry for Apples had their opportunities to win this thing, but it's off a face-off. Again, right in on goal. One move on Linklater, and it's in the back of the net. That's a great finish. A lot of fun tonight. That is a great finish, and in fact, we have one more game coming up for you tonight as well. But once again, the Bad News Bears are the winners of the Saskatoon Ball Hockey League. That's the division.